The Empress Dowager Shitsu was born on November 29, 1835. However, no one had any idea that she would grow up to become the Empress of China for over 50 years. She began her career as a concubine to the newly appointed Emperor Xian Feng, and from there she would go on to become friends with many great imperial ministers within the administration who would help her to become the Empress in the coming years. After the Emperor's death in 1861, Shi Tzu saw the perfect opportunity for her to seize power in China. As the funeral procession of the Emperor traveled home to Beijing, she went on ahead with her son, Tongju, and her imperial official friends. The hopes of drafting a petition which would consolidate all power to her and the late Xi'an Feng Emperor's wife, Empress Xi An, and thereby reduce all power of the eight regent ministers which had been bestowed upon power by the late Xi'an Feng Emperor. This political action was called the Xinyo Coup, and it is basically the consolidation of Empress Dowager Xi Tzu's power and the promotion of herself as the sole autocratic ruler of China. While her son Tongju remained nominally the emperor, Xi Tzu ruled with an iron fist, eliminating all threats that threatened her power over China. She constantly beheaded and publicly executed anyone who she felt was a threat to her power and her direct rule over China. This included bureaucratic officials, imperial officials, and anyone else who she believed was threatening her ability to rule China. After the death of her son Tongju in 1875, Shi Tzu quickly named her nephew Guangxu as the new emperor of China. Although he was too young to rule, Shi Tzu retained her role as regent of China, ruling over, yet again with an iron fist, all of her subjects. In 1881, the Empress Dowager Xi'an died of complications unknown, thereby giving Shi Tzu absolute rule over China, no longer having to share it with the late Xi'an Feng Emperor's wife. In 1889, Guangxu was given absolute rule over China, while Empress Dowager Shi Tzu retired to the Summer Palace, but within a couple of years, the Emperor was supposed to have committed treasonous acts against the country and was deposed, allowing Empress Dowager Shi Tzu to resume her role as sole ruler of China. The Empress Dowager would continue to rule until 1908, when she died on the 15th of November. Her death just one day after the death of the Emperor Guangxu. In the wake of that, she named Puyi as the new Emperor of China, the day before her death. The Empress Dowager Shi Tzu is best remembered for her balancing act of the old traditions of the Qing Dynasty with the reformist movements which plagued China during her rule. She was only, after all, trying to do her best to prevent the collapse of a dynasty which had been plagued by rebellions, famines, treasury depletions, and foreign wars for dozens of years. During her rule, she saw many foreign wars, for immediately before her ascension to the power, she, her country was plagued by the Second Opium War. It was further plagued by the Sino-Japanese War, and then by the Sino-French War, all of which China lost in a humiliating defeat. In her final years, the Empress Dowager attempted at all costs to try and bring China to the modern age. With the humiliation following the Boxer Rebellion, she hoped that by instilling reforms and modernizing China, she would be able to save her country from its imminent destruction by the Western powers. Shi Tzu was later painted by Chinese communist historians as a villain and a despot, but closer examination reveals that she was only trying to do the best she could for a country that was on the verge of collapse. Even if she was not perfect, the Empress Dowager Shi Tzu is remembered as one of the most historically significant empresses in Chinese history.